And now join us here on the Inland Sports Show as we are getting all fired up for the football season coming up right around the corner. First week of September is opening uh, day kickoff uh, Saturday, September 2nd, I believe, for college football. We've got head coach Casey Mazzotta from Mount San Jacinto College, head coach of the Eagles for a long time. Coach, is it I, I tried to look it up earlier. I can't remember. Was it 15, 16 years? It's been a while. Yeah. You know, I started back in 2007. So we had a the COVID year. We didn't play in 2020. So, you know, however, however you want to count that. <laughs> well, Coach, man, listen, you've had a great run at MSJC, especially the last couple of years, conference championships and American championship. Um, and now you can kind of see behind you a, a brand new, beautiful facility out in Minifee. Um, how exciting is it just to be the head coach of the Eagles right now? You know, it's a great time to, to be here. And, uh, you know, it, it's always been a great place to be, but it, it's only gotten better. And, uh, I mean, right now, you know, I'm, I'm sitting in my office and we got a beautiful view looking out the back from the second floor here. And uh, so it, it's a nice place to be. You know, we've come a long way. You know, my own my old office was a, a, a portable a modular building, you know, so to go from that to to where we're sitting now is um, it's just much different. And, you know, I'm, I'm just so excited for our staff and for our our players and for our campus community, you know, to to have football out here at a brand new facility. But also, you know, we've changed campuses. So we're out here in Menifee, which is, uh, uh, you know, really kind of like the center spot of our district. So it kind of puts us more centrally located to to, you know, the students that we serve. Well, obviously, it's not a huge surprise that our audience are big time high school football fans. So when you talk about MSJC, of course, you know, you still got that him at, you know, San Jacinto, the Jack area out there. And now you, you know, Heritage, Paloma Valley, we got Liberty now down down in Winchester. I mean, there's so many great athletes. Do you feel like, Coach, when when you're, you know, filling out your roster for the Eagles that you don't have to really go too far, man? There's a lot of ball players in your own backyard. You know, we've got a lot of them and they've always been in our district. You know, that's for sure. You know, our, our district is is really big. So, you know, we, we've got Temecula and, and Wildemar and Elsinore and and uh, Marietta and, and, all, and all those schools, you know, that, that we're all part of our district. But, you know, getting those guys to travel out to San Jacinto, uh, Hemet area, you know, to travel out to that valley every day was just always a always a tough stretch. So, you know, we always had quite a few of those guys on our roster, but just not quite the numbers that we have now, you know, um, just, you know, more numbers and, and from great quality football programs, like you said, um, you know, the, the quality football programs that we had out in the Hemet St. Seno Valley have always been there too, but just not the number of them, you know, uh, there's just a few in that Valley. And, and so being out here just opens it up to quite a bit more, you know, so it's, it's a, um, and it's definitely a talent rich area for sure. You know, they were just telling me the other day that, you know, uh, Menifee is the is is slated to be the largest city in southwest Riverside County. And, you know, our college has been the fastest and still is the fastest growing community college in the state of California. So it's, you know, um, things are only looking up. You know, we, we've we've had some good years and, and done some good things. And, uh, you know, that that's only we're looking for that to keep going upward. Yeah, that Menifee area is booming right now. A lot of folks uh, wanting to move to that part of the county. It's a it's a great place. Uh, you know, lots of great school, MSJC, great high schools, you know, movies, restaurants, like everything uh, they got down there. Coach, let me ask you about just in terms of, you know, winning, like the, especially the last couple of years. When you when you win titles, does it help in terms of recruiting? Like people know about MSJC. It's been around for forever, but now, especially you guys being off the 215 now and being kind of smack dab in the middle of it all and having the beautiful new stadium and you're winning titles, does that help in terms of, hey, people know about Eagle football. You don't have to, I don't want to say recruit as hard because, of course, you want to go out there and get those kids. But do you feel like, man, uh, you know, people know about MSJC football just because of the winning the titles. And again, the new stadium helps and off right off the 215. You, you know, I, I hope they do know, but but I, but I don't know. You know, it's, you know, way, way back when and. 2012, you know, we were, we were nine and one that year and, and, uh, you know, and I don't know that anybody really knew, you know, and then, you know, going back and fr from that point in 2013, I thought we had probably one of our, our best teams that we could have had coming back that next year. And, uh, you know, things didn't quite, you know, had a couple of injuries and things didn't quite go our way, but, you know, I kind of thought we had some momentum building there. So sometimes I think, you know, it's like, uh, 
people are aware. Sometimes I, I get fooled to thinking they are aware, but I, I know everybody lives in their, their bubble too. You know, it's, it's tough. You know, if you're um, sometimes if you're a, a high school coach, you know, you're, you're, you're so worried about what you're doing at the moment and uh, you know, high school recruits too, you know, they're, they're really worried about what, what they have going on and, and they should be, you know, that that's what they should be doing is, is handling their business. And um, you know, we're just trying to be that, that, that place for them when their high school career is done and, and that it's a, a good quality program for them to come to. And uh, you know, and um, you, we, we think that we're a good destination for, for guys in our area. So, but I, I think as far as like, you know, have they known about it and does it help? I, you know, I don't know. Um, you, it's yet to be seen. I know that we, you know we've got some momentum going, and we we hope to continue that for sure. Well, it sure feels like you're in a in a good spot. You must be because again, you've been there for a long time. And if there's a, a pillar out there in the college you know coaching world that knows when you're in a good spot, you don't leave. It's your dad, you know, who was at Cerritos. I think it was what forty plus years. Um, what are some things that you took away from your dad in terms of maybe coaching the way you run a program? If you maybe if you're in a good spot, why leave? Right, you've you've been at MSJC this you know this whole time, and, and things have been working well for you. Absolutely, you know, I mean, I, I grew up as a as a junior college product, so you know, my dad had done it my whole life. That was really, you know, I kind of grew up on that that football field at Cerritos College, and and uh, you know when I was done playing and I came back and to get into coaching. I mean, that's right where I went, you know, to, to go with him and, and be with him a little bit before branching out on my own. But, you know, that, that was kind of like, um, I, I think there's, there's kind of a, a, a click of guys that are junior college guys and they're, they're believers in the system and, and they know what it does for, for our local California, um, high school kids, you know, we, we know the benefit of it and we're, we're just believers in it. And so I really, you know, I kind of um, have just always been that guy. And, uh, you know, I, I preach it everywhere I go because I, I really believe it's the it, it's such a great level. And, you know, especially in our state, um, you know, it, 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 we have it better than anybody. And, you know, being here and, and being at this level, it's, you know, we, we get the chance to, um, you know, legally go out and recruit, you know, players to be in our program. And so, you know, we, we get a taste of trying to build a, a really good team and the satisfaction of doing that. Um, and also the benefit to see those guys that, you know, that, that we're not their end stop, you know, that they, they have, you know, things that they can go do beyond us. And, and it's it's great to be able to help touch their lives and be able to do that, too. Um, so, you know, it's kind of been my thing. And I really, really haven't looked anywhere else. And and my, my dad's definitely one of those guys, you know, when, when you're in a good, when you're in a spot that, you know, uh, is a good place to be, then, you know, there, there's not uh, too much need to look anyplace else. You know, I mean, the, the grass you know, can sometimes seem like it's greener on the other side, but, you know, most of the time we all know it's not, you know, you got to kind of water where, water it where you're at. And, uh, you know, I've tried to do that here. Um, you know, it's t taken us a long time to get to the facility that we've had and, or, the, or that we have now. And, uh, you know, I, I just kind of, I tell our guys all the time, you know, it's been, I mean, even from the time that we actually got the okay to, to, to build this facility, you know, it's been 10 years from that point. So, you know, it, it's been a long time getting to this point. And, uh, you know, certainly enjoying being here. And, and uh, so, you know, I, I think this, this is always a, a great place to be or a good place to be. And I, now I think it's a, it's a great place to be, you know. Well, Casey, I, you, your dad probably doesn't remember, but I certainly remember the, the great Frank Mazzotta, the head coach at Cerritos back in, I want to say it was probably 2003, maybe 2004, but I think it was 2003, um, Cerritos was playing, I believe it was Victor Valley in the in the old Potato Bowl in Bakersfield. I used to be a sports anchor for the ABC up in Bakersfield, and I remember I met your dad. It was at some restaurant, but it was like a media day where the coaches were there, and I think they brought up like a player or two, and we had a chance to interview them and you know get ready for the big uh, Potato Bowl at Memorial Stadium. And I, I just came away so impressed. I still remember this to this to this day, and uh, and I, I'm just so glad to be able to actually talk to you next. I'm like, man, that that's Frank's son. Like I remember Frank Mazzotta, man, it was like 2003. I don't know, I don't know if you were still in high school, maybe you're a young guy on his coaching staff, but I think it was about 2003. Yeah, at that time in 2003, I was coaching at Fullerton College. Okay. So uh, I was the defensive coordinator at Fullerton College. And, and uh, um, so, you know, we, we had played against each other a few times. <laughs> at that. So, you know, um, he, yeah, it's he, he is definitely uh, a legend at the junior college level in California. You know, he's, he's a member of the Hall of Fame and, and uh, he's just a, a great 
uh, has always been a great resource for me, you know, because this was this was the level that he's been at, and and he always did things the right way, and and prided himself on that a lot. And so, you know, I, I try to take that from him, and and uh, you know, just try to be the the, the best we can, and, and run this as the, you know, a, it's as a true college football program, and, and do things as as um, as well as we can do them. You know, we want the guys to have a great experience coming through here. And that's one of the things that I, I really took from him is that every every guy that's played for him has that feeling. You know, they, they really felt like that that was a great place to be. No matter what happened after after being there, you know, they, they felt like their time at, at Cerritos was a, a great experience. And, you know, we're trying to provide that for our guys too. Hey, Coach, finally, you kind of brought it up, the term, you know, of, you know, being a, a great place at MSJC and, and trying to help your athletes eventually get to the next level, right? I, I, maybe it's, you know, winning and recruiting your guys to get to a four-year college. Maybe they go hand in hand. If, you know, if you win, you're, you get more attention, obviously. But, you know, as, as the head coach, do you feel like it's it's your role to, obviously, you, you play to win the game. Herm Edwards famously said, you play to win the game. But, at the same time, you know, you know, the guys are there because they're hoping to, you know, get another shot to play another couple seasons at the four year level and get a scholarship. I mean, I feel like you could probably do both. Right. Both things can be true at the same time. You want to help your guys go to the next level and you want to win right now. You want to bring some more titles to MSJC. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's always kind of a, a, a dual piece, you know, as and that's one thing that at our level that is that is. Um, really important you know we're, i mean we're definitely trying to win that's for sure but we're also trying to have that piece of of you know matriculating guys on to the next level and so you know we've had it go both ways you know in, in years that we've been um really successful like you said you know you, you you tend to have that happen a lot too and and even when times that you don't you know and you know the things go hand in hand maybe you don't have as many of them you know uh but that kind of goes in hand in hand you know the better the more of them you have the more you win and <laughs> The more you have, the more they can go. So it's, you know, um, we, we do pride ourselves that, that we've had a lot of guys come through our program and have the opportunity uh, to go on and and keep playing this game with with somebody to help, you know, kind of fund that education for them. And that's really, really our goal as well. All right. Finally, finally, Coach, uh, last question. So what well, do you think? What do, you <laughs> I could do this all day. So <laughs> Me too. I'm good. What do you think? Uh, what do you think are the keys for the Eagles this upcoming season? What do you guys have to do well to feel like you guys could, you know, bring another conference championship, get to another American championship game? Like, what do you, what do you think you have to do well this year? Well, you know, we're, we're moving up our, our state reconferenced, um, and so our, our conference is our well, our state association is reconferenced and re-leagued everybody. So, um, based off a of power ranking formula, you know, that they've taken. Uh, the top 24 teams and they put them into a, a division and then they took the the other teams and put them in, in 12 and so we're up with that group of 24 so we're up playing in a completely brand new conference um, so we're playing a lot of teams that we haven't played before so on our schedule there's only a couple of them we're familiar with so you know I, the key right now is that you know we're, we're definitely making a a jump to you know in my opinion what is the top conference in in junior college football and Southern California. I mean, our, our conference play is going to be, you know, with Riverside and, and uh, you know, Fullerton and Saddleback and, and those guys, Palomar. So, I mean, we're all in the same conference now. And so, um, you know, just not having been in that conference and playing those guys in a while, I think that, you know, um, our, our kind of key is just to, to – not to not to worry too much about the opponents that we're playing, but just you know we've got to get you know up to our standard as fast as possible, and and being able to do that with you know guys at a two year level is sometimes tough because we we play with a lot of freshmen, so you know we've you know we've lost some guys in some key spots and we're filling in with some some key guys and it's just you know as a staff we're really working hard at at trying to um, you know make our systems. Uh, compatible to freshmen coming in and playing right away, but also doing that at the highest level possible that we can do. So, you know, we're just really working on being great teachers and and make sure that that uh, you know our players cognitively know what they're doing as as soon as they possibly can, and then you know help, helping their physicals you know get as good as they can be too, uh, so they can contribute right away. So that's that's kind of where we're at. 
Yeah, definitely a tough schedule, but that comes with success, right? You're getting you're getting bumped up. For a second, I thought you were going to say you're going to the Big Ten, like everybody else. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I just tell guys every day, you know, that they are, you know, uh, the, the guys that have been here before them have paved the way, and and we, we've earned the schedule we've got. So, um, you know, it's it's based off a system that, that's based on power ranking and and. Uh, it's, it's wins and losses and common opponents and all those kinds of things. So it's, you know, um, we're where we should be. And, you know, now it's just it's just playing a schedule where we're just not familiar with our opponents, really. You know, we haven't played them in a long time. You know, we played Riverside last year and, uh, you know, we have uh, in our bowl game last year, we played Citrus and we play those guys again. And and uh, we had uh, Grossmont in our conference. So they're they're also in our conference again this year. So there, there's a, a few. Uh, we play Moore Park in our, in our non-conference. So we played no, Moore Park in our non-conference last year too. So there, there's a few in there that we're familiar with, but the rest are teams that we just, we haven't played in quite a long time at, at Mount St. Sino. All right, Coach, final, final, final question. Uh, I'm not trying to look too far down the road, but um, – you know, getting bumped up. It's still the national conference, right? Still called Correct. the national. You yeah. know, getting bumped up. Is it exciting to think in the back of your mind, hey, you know, if, if, if we have a great season, we got a chance to, you know, go to the state playoffs. We have a chance to be in the hunt for a state title. Um, I know that's, again, that's 10 regular season games down the road. But um, is that is that kind of exciting, though, to at least have that that possibility at the end of the year? It's definitely exciting, you know, and I mean, anytime that you have the chance to play for something, you know, and uh, in the division that we were in before, we had the chance to 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 play in conference championship games and we had the chance to play in divisional championship games the past two years. And, and you know, there's always the opportunity to play in bowl games and things. But, you know, as you're looking at things, you always would love to be able to have the opportunity to be able to say, you know, that we have the chance to go to the, the highest game possible that's available to us. And, and it's nice to be able to say that. So, you know, know it's it's like if you're sitting in a, a team that's got a uh, you know you, you sit in a, a a power five type conference you know you you know that you know if you have a great year you have a chance to get to the to the big dance and so that that's nice to be able to do that you know so we're excited well coach Mazota, listen I really appreciate the time this has been a lot of fun congrats on uh, especially the recent success out there at MSJC and the brand new stadium out there as well uh, excited to see what you guys are going to do this season I appreciate that, Pat. We're excited too, and uh, you know we're, we're looking forward to our community coming out and and you know being able to come out here at six o'clock on a on a Saturday evening uh, to come see a game is, is going to be great for them. Uh, I know our campus community is working on you know making our game day atmosphere just a, a, a top notch college football atmosphere. So we're we're excited about that, and we hope we get some people come watch and and see what the product is like. That's awesome. That is Casey Mazota, the head football coach for the MSJC Eagles here on the Inland Sports Show. Thank you so much, Coach. I appreciate it. Thanks, Pep.